The Chechen wars may be history now, but they still claim their victims. This is the body of former Colonel Yuri Budanov, the target of a professional hit in the centre of Moscow. <laughs> this man described hearing a cracking noise like fireworks. In fact, it's thought the hitman may have used a silencer. For many Chechens, this would have been an enormously satisfying moment. This murder was likely to have been thoroughly planned. Budanov was more than likely followed. I would like to add that if taking into account the personality of Budanov, the investigation is not excluding that the murder was committed with provocative goals. As Colonel Budanov, he was sentenced to 10 years for the kidnap and murder of an 18-year-old Chechen girl, only to be released early on parole. On top of that, the family of the Chechen girl hired a lawyer to fight their cause. In 2009, he was shot dead in Moscow. Given the persistent allegations of torture and human rights abuses by Russian troops against Chechens, his case came to symbolize Russia's apparent indifference to some of the worst actions in the wars. Most probably it is something linked with revenge. When Budanov was in Chechnya and was in command of a regiment, he personally kidnapped, raped and killed Elsa Kungayeva. He was only condemned for murder. Budanov would have known about the Chechen tradition of blood feud, which demands retribution against someone who's committed committed an act of violence. Perhaps he thought he was safe in Moscow so many years on. But in the Caucasus, they have long memories and things do not get forgotten. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera.